Hey there, everybody. It's me, Hammy, with my friend Jerry here. Hello. We're going to be talking about the ups and downs to being a Disney Cars diecast hunter. Now, for those of you who don't know, Hammy and I are very, very big Disney Cars diecast hunters, okay? We have been in this business since they first came out in 2006. Cars has always been my movie since 2006, and we never grow out of Cars. Cars is like my jam. That is like my... My my freedom to escape reality, the hardships of reality. Cars is like everything to me. Oh yeah, cars is everything to us. And today we're gonna show you all about the cars we have. Obviously, you know, guys, we're, guys that we're big car hunters. From all of our cars that we show here, let's get a glimpse of what we're gonna show you guys. Look at all these cars, and it, and and it keeps going with another one of those. Look at that. We got a metallic ones in there. We got some more Wii. And there's even cars in those boxes. There's cars up in that little box like the Butter Light, uh, labeled Butter Light. And we're big Lego hunters too, but we'll talk about that in another video. And we can also talk about Pops in another video we're going to be doing too. But today we're going to focus on the subject of the Disney Cars Diecast. Oh, speaking of Cars Diecast, I brought another made with cone teeth, Hammy. Oh my gosh, you did? Oh, but look at the package. Uh, what? Really? I never noticed that. Look at it, look at it, look at it. That is disgraceful. You you know what, we can open this one today. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because I got one over there. Is that, is that a better one? Yeah, that's a better one. Oh, cool. We can definitely open this one today. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be doing that. How come, how come I didn't notice that when I bought it? Well, maybe it's because Made It With Cone Teeth should have been out in September instead of now, but that's beside the point. Yeah, we're going to, that's, first we're going to talk about the downsides of being a car hunter. I, as I already stated, sometimes... It takes forever to get your stinking cars. Does that feel good to get that out? Yes, it felt very good to get that out because I've been waiting for the new, uh, the new silver cars. And hey, you got one already. Yeah, I know. I get, I get, I get silver chick hicks. I got Jimmy chimichanga. This, let me tell you about these two here. I got these two. I went shopping to one Target. I picked up one. That's all I had. All I had was stupid cruise and Jackson Storm. I went to Walmart and I found one of these. And I even went, I bought this one on eBay for the same price. I'm still looking for Jackson Storm and I haven't found it yet because all the. What you're trying to say is you can't find your cars because every place that you go, except for your I look at Walmart, all they have is stupid Jackson Storm and Danico Cruz Ramirez. Yeah, we noticed that. I've been there five times. I've been there more than that, and they still don't get the freaking tingles in. They still don't get them in. Yeah, but I did find this today. Yeah, they must have gotten more. I found both. I found all four of them, but even though I bought the other two behind them at a different time, I found more of them. Yeah. So, yeah, I got Chris. And there's also variants. Obviously, Chris is a variant. Yeah, Chris is a variant. That's just Chris has a green flag. Your other Chris's have checkered flags. Exactly, yeah. And speaking of newer cars, and the Trainer Cruise Ramirez is a new one. I actually ended up seeing so many of those in Scarborough, so I was kind of mad. And then they have new variants of, like, Cal Weathers. I'm still looking for the gosh darn metallic Cal Weathers. I should have been out already. I know. Somebody else on YouTube already found it. I know. I don't know how to get away with opening cases like that. I wish I could do that. The last time I opened a case was at a Kmart cars event. But now we just can't go to Kmart because they closed it. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. You guys could probably already tell that there are lots of ups and downs to being a car hunter and finding super chases. Oh my gosh, we got a good, you got to tell your story about how you found this one. Oh yeah, it's pretty easy actually. So you know Toys R Us is going out of business. Yeah, I know, that's where I'm from. Hint, hint, Toys R Us went out of business, see? Ah, that's right, you are from Toys R Us. But anyways, you're from Toys R Us. And they were going out of business. So I went there one day when they had a sale on cars for $2 a piece. I looked behind it, and there it was. And that and the whole case that was with her. Oh, really? That's awesome, man. I know, I know. I can't believe it. I was so happy to find this one. I thought they canceled it. I was mad that I was not going to find this one. And sure enough, it appeared right in front of me. And I, bought, I think I bought some of the other ones in that Cars 3 one, too. But that's, that one's the one that was really good. Yeah, I can't believe you found that one. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't believe that. We're going to show them... We gotta talk about this made it with cone tees here. Yeah, we do. We'll be back. We're gonna open this made it with cone tees, and we're gonna just talk about it made it with cone tees because we. This is the one of our favorite new diecast of the year that we've been wanting since September. They haven't come out with it since then, and we can't wait to unbox this and open it for you. But we'll we'll be back. 
And we're going to show you guys, we're going to unbox Mater with cone teeth and tell you all about his little history. So Mater with cone teeth. Let's get a look at that, dear Yeah. Mater with cone teeth. He was canceled back in 2009. I don't have the collector guide with me that said where he was. But he was in the 2000... Was it 9 or 10? He was in the 2010. Yeah, that's right. He was in 2010 collector guide. And I was really looking forward to him, and then I never saw him. The reason behind that is, he was cancelled. And now, since Thailand does all, Mattel in Thailand does all the cards that I cast, they brought back a made it with cone teeth. And everybody's after him. Everybody's after him. Even in Maine. Everybody in Maine is after him. We're so lucky to find two of them here. Because I found one. I got one the other day, a couple of days ago. And we found another one. Jerry found another one today. Yep, I did. Sure did. And it was a bad condition. As you guys saw, it was a bad condition. So we thought we would open it and take a look at him. Looks pretty nice. I know. He does. I like that, that they have... The, the, the Thailand has more detail on the maters than they do with uh, in China. Yeah, this one looks more authentic to the movie. Yeah, it, it, it really does. I mean, I don't have the canceled diecast mater with cone teeth originally. If I would have, it probably would have cost me a fortune to get it. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Some of the cars we have are even... If we even keep them loose, we can get them for a good $300. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, you know, Tokyo Mater with oil stains? Yeah, we we can show that. But that was, that was my favorite one. I don't want to show that one. But you could get $150 for it. More money towards your Disney Legacy lightsabers. Then again, I think I'll do that. And, uh... What about, what, what, what other ones are you talking about? Oh, Race Damage Smooth Springs. Oh, that final wrap racer. Yeah, that's 10 years old now. Everybody wants a fortune for that one. We have one in package, too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found, I found that one. Uh, I found that one when I was digging for stuff. I was trying to look for other things, and I found that. Oh, my gosh. We can get a fortune off of that one. Oh, yeah. We're going to save it so it's really worth something. Of course we will. And what about your loose one? Yeah, my loose one might have a little bit of chip pay, but it still could be worth a good 200 300 dollars That's crazy. A little car like this, too? We ain't want that much money? I know, that's crazy. I'm really about made it with cone teeth for seven bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, he looks awesome. I really, I, I don't regret buying another one. I don't regret you buying another one, Gerald. He looks amazing. He does. I'm glad to have, we even opened some of our metallic ones. Oh yeah, we have opened some of them. We've found more metallic ones and we've opened them. Wait, 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 let's go get one. I'm gonna go get one. We'll get one of them. Uh, let's show, let's get them, let's get Sally, we'll get McQueen, and we'll get, is that the other, the only ones we opened? I don't know, we opened a bunch of them. Okay, I got them, I got them, j -O. oh cool, yeah, let's take a look at them. Metallic cars are my favorite too, we got metallic gas eggs, he's still looking good, I know, I haven't, I'm surprised you haven't fell out of the box and damaged him yet, I know. There's metallic gas eggs. Metallic McQueen, which we found so many of those dust darn things. We can't find the the only ones we were missing were Cruz and the the Dino Drafty. Ugh, excuse me, the Dino Drafty was hard to get. Oh yeah, it definitely was. And my favorite one is the Metallic Sally. Wow, look how pretty she looks. I've never seen her up close. Yeah, she's pretty pretty. Yeah, nice blue metallic color. And, oh my gosh, I oh, know it looks pretty. We get you got one in the package too. Well, of course I do. I had to keep one in the package, too. These are awesome to unbox, you know? And this is a new expression for Sally. They, 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 I think they just did that through, with the uh, the Kai Street Wave. No no, no kidding. I know. Look at that. This is kind of pretty. And then next to made it with cone tea. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they look really nice. I like this. Oh, yeah. Wow. And made it with cone tea is actually from Mater and the Ghost Light, this short film. We're not actually from the actual movies, per se. And that's why we really liked him, too. That's why we like him more, because he's from the short film. So that's all we're going to talk to you guys about today. In short, we came to the conclusion that car hunting is still good regardless. Uh, yes, it can have its perks and its downsides, but in the end, it's a very interesting, it's a very cool hobby. Yeah, I can agree with you. I can't believe Prim sells these cars to Wes at the collection building. Really? She does? Yeah, she collects, sells all the Legos at the collection building because nobody's buying them on the shelf. Yeah, that can relate to that. Nobody wants to spend $30 for a set they could have got $25 for. But yeah, we won't get into that till next video. Thank you guys for watching this video on car hunting. We will be back eventually with a Lego video, a Lego, a Lego video showing off some of our favorite sets. 
And we'll be back with some showing up, some, another video showing off some of our favorite Funko Pop figures. Yep. That's going to be another little series we're going to be doing on HamiTube. And Hammy and Gerald. I like that little series. Yeah, me too. It's going to be really awesome. I didn't think I'd be on HamiTube either. Yeah. I think you were on the HamiTube that one time, right? I think you were my, my imaginary friend. Oh my gosh. You can't, I can't get enough of that. Yeah, me either.